New details tonight at 11 about a scary scene in Lackawanna. A car smashing into a Cricket Wireless store this afternoon. Witnesses telling us that that car pinned people up against the wall, trapping some others underneath. Our Hannah Bueller live in Lackawanna tonight with the very latest. Hannah. Well, Jeff, tonight the Cricket Wireless store here on Abbott Road is all boarded up for the night, but the carnage that remains inside tells the tale of exactly what happened here earlier today. We want to show you this photo that one of our viewers snapped earlier today, just moments after witnesses say the car smashed into the business. Now, it is still unclear tonight why the driver crashed into the retailer, but witnesses say it all happened around 4.30 this afternoon. The car smashing right into the area where it employees tell me they sit. We talked to some eyewitnesses who saw this all unfold. Initially when I had entered the store everyone was screaming and you could see that there was a couple uh, young young adults pinned up against the wall. It was really um, a bad situation. Uh, initially it was horrific. People were yelling, people were coming from you know the other side of the parking lot running in to try and help. AMR says it transported eight people to the hospital. Their conditions are unknown at this time. We are also trying to work to find out why exactly the driver crashed into the store here. But just moments ago, before we went on the air, I talked to one man who, an employee at the store, he was inside, he was pinned up against the wall. He has some broken ribs and some problems with his legs. He was just released from ECMC. He does say that other employees and customers at this point are still at ECMC in the hospital. But he says it appears, and we don't have confirmation from police on this, but it does appear that the driver had some type of a medical emergency. We have multiple calls into Lackawanna police tonight and are waiting to hear back. We're live in Lackawanna. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.